What's going on everyone? My name's Kai, aka Mongo Me, and today finally get to bring you the review for the first three volumes of Terra for Mars. Uh, going to be changing things up in this review as opposed to my JoJo's review, which I will leave a link down below. Uh, however, this one, I'm going to try and make it a bit shorter. I know 20 minutes for a review is way too long. Uh, I'm just still trying to figure out the way I want to do these reviews, and I think I might have the idea now. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you for checking out the video. Uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like. Uh, let me down below if you've read Terror from Mars. Uh, what you think of it, just please no spoilers. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I've recorded this so many times now that I've just scrapped it. I'm going to start again. <sighs> so, the series we're reviewing today is Terror from Mars. Uh, I'm mainly going to be going over what's in the first volume, tiny bit of the second volume. Third volume is just here so that I can give you guys a quick three volume uh, overview of how I think the series plays out in the first three volumes. Um, but we won't be going into any plot details of the first volume, basically. Uh, it's obviously a seinen, so the art is phenomenal. Uh, it's a mature story, so, you know, probably leave this series alone until you're 17, 18, I guess. Um, it's genres are classified as adventure, horror, and sci-fi. So, yeah, if they're your type of uh, stories that you enjoy, then make sure you check those stories out as much as possible. Uh, story is by uh, Yu, Suga uh, Yu Susuga. Apologies for any mispronunciation. Um, you know. Art is by uh, Kenichi Tachibana. The art is phenomenal in this story, guys. Um, I do just want to say, before getting into this, um, that this series is on hiatus. Unfortunately, Yu Sasuga is recovering from an illness, I believe. Uh, so I hope that he gets well soon. Um, but yeah, obviously, uh, English publisher is Viz, and we got for Terra Mars and Viz Sigs, uh, like they tend to do with their Sin series. Uh, the story started uh, serializing in Japan in January of 2011, so it's getting quite old now, like, it's over 10 years old now which is pretty crazy to think about. Um, I'll show you guys some art from the first volume. Don't want to spoil too much. Um, but yeah, that's it for the image. I will say, I don't know if there's any in this volume as such, but, um, but uh, when it gets to like landscaping and stuff like, like that, I absolutely love the landscape drawings in this series. Um, but anyway, right. Volume 1 should have been called Volume 0. I will die on that hill because we don't have many Volume zeros in manga. And I think it looks awesome when it starts from zero on shelves. And Volume 1 is literally like what Volume zeros are. Even like... You look here on the chapter list. It's called First Mission, right? And then we go into Volume 2. I don't think there's any spoilers on the chapter list, by the way, guys. I so just believe me on that. And it goes to Chapter 1. So it really should have been Volume 0. But it is what it is. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get into the plot. Okay, so I'm going to try and be as brief with the plot as I can while still trying to interest you guys into the series. Uh, so the plot, it starts with the information that in the 21st century uh, scientists are essentially tasked with terraforming Mars uh, because of the overpopulation problem with Earth. Now the way they do this is by 
essentially sending out a modified version of algae and cockroaches to Mars. And the plan is for the algae to absorb sunlight and essentially cleanse the atmosphere and make it breathable and livable for humans. Whilst the cockroach's job is to eat, die, and spread the algae, essentially. Now, time skip to the 26th century, and it's essentially time to claim the Red Planet as Earth 2.0. Um, you, NASA, uh, essentially send their first manned mission to Mars to essentially uh, investigate issues that have been going on with drones that they've been sending. Uh, drones have become unresponsive. Uh, they also have secondary task to collect samples from 10 male and female cockroaches. Now, th when the manned mission uh, is titled Bugs 1, when they land on Mars, uh, they are met with a mutated cockroach that essentially wipes them out. Uh, they have enough time, however, to send a warning message back and explain that a cockroach has mutated. Uh, this essentially leads to Earth's response being that they need to send someone out there to eliminate the cockroach that's mutated because obviously this isn't good and it's literally just wiped out an entire crew. Now time skip another 22 years I think it is and we are met with Shokichi, uh, what's his last name? Shokichi Komachi and we find out that he is part of a crew uh, that go under the codename of Bugs 2. Now, the difference between Bugs 1 and Bugs 2 is that Bugs 1 was simply a recon mission type thing, whereas Bugs 2 is being sent there to eliminate the cockroach, and they have taken the precautions to make sure they can do it. As you can tell by the covers, these guys aren't exactly human. And we will get into that briefly. Uh, I don't want to give away too much. But essentially, uh, to help combat the cockroaches, um, scientists started creating a procedure that splices human genes with insect genes. And these guys are the result um but sticking with volume one we find out that um Komachi is part human and part giant hornet it creates some of the best like fight scenes ever i think in manga and i'm not even I don't think I'm ever exaggerating here. Um, I really enjoy the fight scenes in this, and the art is just phenomenal. Uh, however, Bugs 2 gets labelled as a failure. Um, I'm not going to go into why, I don't think, um, but it, it gets labelled as a failure, and there is a lot of surprises along the way, I think. Okay, so after Bugs 2 gets labelled failure, uh, Komachi basically vows to return to Mars and correct the situation that occurred during the Bugs 2 expedition. Uh, <laughs> another 20 year time skip, and we see Komachi is basically ready to head up his own uh, team, essentially his own crew basically um we see him go through his recruitment process uh, so you know get your indeed applications out there peeps because he needs it 
Uh, I'm not going to go over all the recruits, but they just know that they are all pretty awesome characters. But don't worry, we do get we get the motives for why each character would join uh, what is later titled uh, has the mission title of Annex One. Uh, we do find out why each character joins. Going a bit further than that, because Kamachi has witnessed the you know the Roach horror on Mars, he obviously knows what it's going to take to beat them, or he thinks he does, uh, and he obviously has to get his new crew to undergo the bug procedure, but, and I'll give you a little teaser for Volume 3, the bug procedure does advance throughout the 20 year time skip that we've just undergone. Um, but I'm not going to get too much into that. I think I'll leave the uh, overview of the plot here. Just know Volume 2's cliffhanger is ridiculous. And if I were you personally, if you wanted to give these three volumes a try, I would say buy the first volume, see how you find it, and then buy Volume 2 and 3 at the same time, because the cliffhanger is so annoying. Uh, so yeah, let's get on to my... Uh, final thoughts of these three volumes, and then I'll wrap up the video, trying not to have this go on too long. Okay, so hopefully this has come out the way I want to get to. Um, so we'll get into my final thoughts on the first three volumes. Um, first off, I just want to say the art is great. The story, it can be over the top of times, uh, but I think the the actions the characters take, uh, the plot points, combat scenes, they're all great in my opinion. Um, I I haven't enjoyed a new like a new series like this for a while. Uh, I caught up to this at the end of last year, I believe. Um, but I've been following the series since about 2017 I believe but I just I stopped for a while um, when I wasn't really into manga that much um, but now I'm back for good because series like this that just managed to keep me in like that obviously I would recommend this to uh, you know sci-fi lovers who are also looking for great drawn action sequences, uh, your horror fans, and whatnot, but let me just reiterate that it is on high hits at the moment, unfortunately. Um, again, wishing uh, you, Sasuga, gets well soon. Um, okay, so yeah, like I said, hopefully this turns out the way I want it to. I've got a little bit of editing to do on this video, um, but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get this up the same day for you guys. Uh, so let's head to the outro bookcase. Okay, I'm gonna go with Vagabond Spines for this outro. I need to get back to reading the series, really. Um, again, just want to say thank you to anyone who checked out the video. Be sure to leave a like. Let me know down below if you've seen Terrible Mars or if you plan to read it. Um, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, I just want to let you guys know I have started recording my manga haul for this month so be on the checkout for that and yeah thanks for checking out the video peace